Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate uh, each uh, week you tuning in. Uh, for the next two weeks, we're gonna be talking about growing in Christ. How do we grow in Christ? And some help in doing that. In the Gospels in Matthew chapter 14, uh, there is a series of events that takes place in the life of the Lord Jesus. It begins in Matthew 14 with Jesus getting the word that John the Baptist has been beheaded. And as a result of that, Jesus, no doubt, wanted to pull away and be by himself, be with his disciples for a period, period of time. Remember that John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus. Remember that not only was uh, John the Baptist the cousin of the Lord Jesus, he was also the one that Jesus said about him, that nobody ever has been born of woman like John the Baptist. And so obviously Jesus loved and cared for John the Baptist, thought the world of him. Hearing of his beheading was hurtful, painful. And so the Lord pulls away with his disciples, but the crowd, the Bible says, sees him, finds him, and 5,000 men plus women and children gather around him. And so Jesus does what Jesus does. He starts to teach them. Then it comes time to eat, and the disciples say, send them away. And Jesus said, no, you feed them. And then all of a sudden, the, somebody comes up with a little boy's lunch and Jesus takes the lunch and he divides it up and feeds 5,000 men plus women and children. Then the Bible says that Jesus sends the disciples away and Jesus finds himself doing exactly what he started out wanting to do. It says he went into a deserted place, a desert place, to be quiet, to be silent, to spend time with the Father. You ever notice how often in the Gospels Jesus does that? Jesus goes away, spends time with the Father. The very next story, Jesus is walking to catch up with the disciples, walking on the water. I thought to myself the other day when I was reading that again, you know, if you wanna walk on water, if you wanna do great things with God, you sure better be spending time with God recharging your, in, your engine, getting your strength, finding the spiritual depth of your life. I want you to think about this question this week for me. If in the Gospels over and over again, we find Jesus doing this, we find Jesus pulling away from everyone else and spending time with the Father. If that's what Jesus did, the Son of the living God, my question then is, why would you and I think that we could live this life that we live without doing the same thing. Are we spiritually stronger than Jesus? I think not. Do you spend time with him? Are you moving forward and growing in your faith in him? We'll see you next week.